time that he was going through. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, John the Baptist, Jesus said he, he is one of the greatest men who ever lived on, on this earth. John the Baptist drew close to the Lord and, and, and through that wilderness training, he spoke to the people and prepared them for the coming Messiah. It is our human nature to want things to be easy. We want luxury. Uh, we, we want to be comfortable. Uh, we want to taste the world's pleasures. But here's the problem. All those things don't make us stronger. Oftentimes, all those things make us weaker. So right now, if you are going through a difficult time, if you are facing a challenge, if you are going through trials and tribulations, consider that God might be taking you through that to make you stronger. God might be taking you through those, those challenges so that you come to the point in your life where you say, I want to draw closer to God. Like John the Baptist, I, I want to become the person God wants me to be. You see, to benefit from God's wilderness training, you've got to be on board. You've got to be willing to draw near to God and to listen to God's instructions and hear God's words. You've got to be willing to draw strength in that relationship with God through prayer, through striving to, to move forward along that path God calls you to walk. And sometimes that path goes through the wilderness. But I tell you what, if you draw near to the Lord and you depend on Him and you grow spiritually, that wilderness journey will make you stronger. And something's going to happen to you. This is what's going to happen. Like that little girl with that orange. Savoring the smell of that orange. You are going to be strengthened on the inside and thankful for the journey on which God is taking you. Amen. Let's turn to our final hymn. That hymn is Go Tell It on the Mountain, number 138.
and give you peace. Amen. Amen.